How about Subway? No. KFC? No. Dunkin' Donuts? No. And you're just like... Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm in the car right now. Uh, I'm at my girlfriend's house. I'm just waiting for her because she told me to meet her here at like 4. Then she's going to go to work. Again! <laughs> like, uh... We don't really <clears throat> we don't really spend a lot of time together. Maybe like once or twice a week. If actually no, once usually once a week, and if lucky, maybe twice. And uh, today we're just gonna probably just eat out or go to a park or something. I don't, I don't really know. It's really cold. I hate cold. So I can't even tell if she's there. Um, but usually her bus comes through here, so she just told me to meet her. Um, so yeah, how's it going, guys? Hopefully you guys had a good Monday. Mine's pretty chill. Um, I have to go to the bank later on. We're, I don't know what we're gonna do, but uh, yeah, it's all chill. It's a good day so far. I had to charge my phone. It's like in the thirty percent, I think. Oh yeah, and I found um another deal online, an iPhone five S gold and white, uh, selling for three hundred. AT and T, good. It's like clean condition. Nothing. No. No breaks. No. No cracks, no nothing. If it looks pretty good. I'm probably gonna buy it. I'm gonna probably sell this iPhone uh, for the other one because um, it's just an upgrade, pretty much. And this this phone's a Verizon iPhone five, and the one he, the guy is selling is a AT and T iPhone five S, and uh, that that's pretty much better considering AT and T. Um, I think AT and T users are, are good. I know Verizon's good, but like they fuck over, they fuck people's uh bills over like my mom's she fucked her uh i forgot what it was i think it was like the file shit or something like that like they overcharged her they always do this at my fucking lip it's like cut in between i just took a shower too i feel fresh but uh oh yeah i'm, I'm selling my my oreo four fours oreo sixes for 50 for my kid and uh I'm selling my uh, fours for the same price that I bought them because uh, they don't fit me. So there's no point in me keeping the shoe if it doesn't fit my foot. So yeah, um, I'm, that's going to happen in the weekend. I don't really know about the other kid though. There's like deals on the weekend and everything else is going on pretty swell. So yeah, um, it's just chill. I'm just waiting for my girlfriend right now. So I don't know how when she'll come, but uh, I'm just waiting. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm going to text her and see what's up. Uh ho ho ho! Look who decided to show up. <laughs> you, you okay? Huh? You okay? It's kind of cold. Kinda. 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 My balls are freezing here. I'm Sorry. cold. <laughs> Wait, are you wearing your work shirt? No. Oh, aren't you working? Later, six. Oh yeah. Wait, you don't have your stuff though. You're still recording. I know. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I have bad news, and I, I feel really, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna cry, really. Um, I need some tissue, seriously. I swear, even the most insensitive guy can cry, and I feel like shit right now. If you're wondering what happened, and re if you're wondering what's going on right now, my girlfriend just broke up with me, and I feel like shit. <laughs> I feel like shit. Sure, I know most of you have been in relationships and you guys probably expected this from the start, but I feel like shit. I've been crying on camera. I'm, so, I'm even surprised I'm turning on a camera to cry. Damn, that hurt. Shit. Goddamn. But the reason why, if you're wondering, she felt, um, that she was selfish and uh I don't know I don't really know anymore I don't know how I feel about relationships anymore is it worth sure I may I may say this all the time like but my focus wasn't even my focus wasn't even a relationship it was just it was just different I don't know she just left and she's 
at her house and I'm still standing. I'm still standing in the same spot I parked to wait for her. And I just feel upset. I feel like... What was the point of going through that? What was the point of going through that? I mean, it's a part of life. You're going to deal with breakups. You're going to deal with heartache. You're going to deal with a lot of bad shit. But life moves on. No one cares. That's how it is. That's how I feel about a lot of things. Life moves on. It doesn't matter. My dad died. Girlfriend broke up with me? God damn, even showing you guys this is pathetic. God damn. I feel like a baby for crying. I really do. I feel like what was the what was the whole point? God damn it hurts. It hurts a lot. You guys probably don't know how it hurts. It's sad really. Just to even make this video. God damn. <laughs> Shit. I didn't think I'd feel this way. I thought I was stronger, but I was wrong. Now she has work at 6. I'm gonna do my own thing. Can't cry too much, guys. You can't cry too much. Because it's not gonna go anywhere in life. The more you bitch, the more nothing happens. So you're just gonna have to continue with life. No matter what. You just have to accept the fact it didn't work out. That's how I feel. However, I think it's a lot of bullshit, really, that it didn't work out. It was fine. It was going fine. But she, it was just like she felt selfish. And I was just like wondering why the fuck. Why? Why? I feel like every single relationship I've been in, I feel like I'm a fuck up. I feel like I'm the one to blame. Even though it's not even me. I feel like when you lose someone... The same as I lost my dad. That hurt. I know I don't show it, but it hurt. He's not here anymore. Now you, now you lose someone. The same way. It feels the same way. It hurts. And I can't believe it. I just really can't believe it. I don't care if I cry on camera. It doesn't really matter. I'm just human after all. I just... I make these videos... Because I try to my best. I do. I put effort... In my life. Just to... Actually upload these vlogs. I try my best to show as much as possible. And you know what hurts the most? When I look back at all my videos... Even in the past... And it hurts because I see my exes. Every single one. And I just think it doesn't work out. That's some bullshit. It hurts. God damn. Sure, I may cry like a bitch. But you do too. You All of you guys out there. You think you're tough? Just wait. Let's just see what happens when you're in a relationship. And for some reason it didn't work out and you guys break up then tell me how it feels because i know how it feels a lot it hurts it hurts a lot and i can't do anything about it i can just sit idly be here god damn i feel like shit i really do i feel like why the fuck did i do this I put myself through this relationship. I thought it would work out. I was wrong. It didn't work out in the end. And I don't feel, I don't feel like... A relationship is... Between two people who like each other. Who love each other. Who care for each other. Who spend time for each other. And sure, my girlfriend... She never really spent a lot of time with me. But I was okay with that. Because I've been with someone... That never gave me anything at all in return. And I still went with it. 
I still feel like shit. I really do. However, life moves on. That's how everything goes. Every single thing that you do, life moves on. Regardless of what you think or what you think something's going to happen, life moves on. She asked me if I was angry. No. I said no. Not even a bit. And I am. I'm heartbroken. In a way. I gave my all to one person. Sure, you don't give your whole basket in one whole giving. But come on. When you like someone, it's even hard to try. I just do as much as possible. I don't even expect anything back. If it happens, it happens. And you know what hurts the most? That I have to burn the blanket that she gave me for our one month. I have to burn everything. I have to erase her off my memory. I have to erase the fact that she's the first girl ever in my life. That she's ever been in my house. In my car. And it hurts. Because I know there's going to be someone different. And sure, she may be better. She may be something else. But what I felt with Sheena was everything. I felt that she was everything I was looking for. Everything I liked in a girl. I didn't like a girl who does drugs. I didn't like a girl who, dr- who drinks. I didn't like a girl who smokes. And when everything happened, everything went to an end. It hurts. Because I know I thought it would work out. I thought it would be better. But I was wrong. As I'm always wrong. <laughs> Nothing ever works my way. Sure, some here and there. But it never all the time. When it comes to a love or a relationship or anything like that, it hurts like shit. And I feel like the shittiest person ever. It's true. It's true. I'm going to continue making videos. I'm not going to stop. Sure, I mean, it may hurt now. But I know maybe give me like a few weeks or a few months or a, a year maybe at least. I'll forget about it. Yeah, you can't bitch too much. Just got to move on. As hard as it may seem, that's my advice for people out there who have been in my situation. I've been in many relationships where it never worked out. And it hurts. It hurts. But I know time heals all the time. Time does heal. No matter how much cliche bullshit that fucking thing is, it heals. So I'm going to give it time. And I know my heart's going to be the same as it was before I met Sheena. So that's how it is. You know what? As soon as it may be, I fucking loved her. I did. I did. Doesn't even have to... It wasn't physical. It wasn't anything else. It was emotional. Everything I felt about her, I liked about her. And it hurts. Because I know... Now I have to... I have to realize that it's not going to be me. It's going to be some other guy that's going to be with her. And I'm her first fucking boyfriend. God fucking damn it. I feel like a fucking bitch. Oh my god. I feel like a bitch right now. I put my... and it, okay, I don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah, sure. This may be on YouTube. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. What you people think about me, I don't give a fuck. Call me anything you want. I know who the fuck I am. As, as much as... Most of you out there who don't know who the fuck you fucking really are. I don't know anymore. I really don't. I'm sorry to say this for the people out there who don't really even deserve to hear this word. Goddamn. Let just this be a lesson to you guys out there. And I have to look back at all. I'm not even going to look at all the videos anymore. I really am not. All the videos I've made together with Sheena. I'm not going to bother even trying to delete it. Because at least it's a good memory I can look back at. And it's not something I hold against. So yeah. That's life. Gotta fucking clean the fucking mirror. Because fucking wet. Fucking god damn it. That shit hurt. Seriously, it did. No matter what you guys think, it fucking hurt. But fuck it. 
I always go through this shit. And I can't be the one to blame. Seriously, I can't. Sure. We all fuck up. We all do dumb shit. You guys especially. For you guys who drink. Do drugs. Y'all are fucked up. Seriously. Waste your life with that shit. I don't give a fuck. Fuck. So yeah. I'm gonna go to the mall. I'm gonna just probably eat food. I said, just chill. Whatever the fuck I wanna do. Cause right now I'm single. And I'm gonna just do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna still make videos. I'm gonna still do the shit I do all the time. I'm gonna still make some vines. I'm gonna still go to college. And I'm gonna still finish the shit I wanna do and I wanna get done. So yeah. I'm just gonna stay single for a long time, seriously. The way I feel, it's not worth it being with a girl. It's not. Not not today. Not tomorrow. Not for a while. I'm gonna say that. I'll probably be in a relationship maybe when I'm in my mid late twenties. Or better yet, maybe my late thirties. This is good. It's good. Cause I know if you guys out there, all you dumbass kids, you guys wanna fuck around and shit. That's not life. Y'all are fucking stupid. You don't know shit about life. Ever. Peace. Put it on YouTube and our video for you guys as usual. Uh let me just set you guys down. Let me throw my hat. Where the hell is my other hat? This one. Right here. Yeah. I like this hat better. Oof. Anyways. Um. Goddamn bed. Mm. Mm. Okay. Anyways, you guys already knew what happened with the earlier videos I've made already previously. Um. I'm sorry that I cursed about any of you really in general. I just was angry at the time and I was really upset everything is good now I'm at my house chilling right now it is 8 33 p.m. right now um, I, I'm just selling shit selling uh, I got buyers for my Oreo 6s I got buyers for my military 4s um, I got a buyer for my iPhone 5 I'm trying to sell this because I want the iPhone 5s because I want to get the gold and white um, and it's cheaper because i found it for cheap and uh yeah everything's going good so far just chilling and i was talking to my mom earlier about the whole experience and she was just like conf informing me i guess comforting me also my sister she went to go see my grandma my mom's sleeping in the other room and uh yeah just uh life moves on i can't say shit about it i can't complain just move on and it was really surprising because a lot of my friends they, some of them texted me and some of them messaged me and they're like, yo, man, are you okay? Um, you seem really down and shit. Like, uh, I'm here for you. Like, I understand, but like, because I was used to just like being by myself a lot and I still am. I mean, whether or not even, she is gone, so I don't really think it's much of a problem anymore because she just had to, some things she had to focus on and, oh well. I'm just saying like, uh, I even told my friend Sylvia and she was just surprised about it, so... Oh well. Wow. Um. Oh yeah, I have a buyer for my Nintendo DS, the 3DS. Selling this for two forty. Um. Yeah, I'm just trying to sell a bunch of shit because I don't need a lot of things. Uh, trying to sell all my beanies and shit. Someone's buying something. Oh no. Yeah. Or my. Yeah. Just messages from friends. The guy from the buyer for my shoes. <coughs> Yeah, um, everything's good so far, just chilling. I'm just gonna make some vines, make some videos, talk and shit about the whole experience. Um, yeah, I'm gonna talk about it. I don't really think it's really a matter of a problem, I don't really care anymore. I mean, like, I dealt with, like, a lot of breakups, and I dealt with, like, that feeling of emptiness a lot. So I'm just used to it, like, I'm used to just, like, getting heartbroken, or, like, I'm just used to getting broken up. Whether, whatever reason it may be. And sometimes I think to myself, like, it's my fault, but sometimes it may be on the other side, so it's not really always your fault. If you guys are out there with a relationship and you have, you're have with a girl, seriously, try your best as much as possible to keep her happy because you never know, someday, 
you might fuck up and then you might regret it because she goes on with a different guy or she cheats on you or she does all this mis this promiscuous shit that you guys don't really need. No, no guy deserves that. No guy deserves to be cheated on. The same way as girls. No guy and girl deserves to be cheated on, di disrespected, um, not to be messed around with. Like, this is a relationship. Like, when you're in a relationship, you put your effort with that person's effort and you make it together. You're together. That's for a reason. You don't fuck around. I don't really understand why people do this. But, oh well. When life moves on. I'm just going to chill. What the fuck is this? Why the hell is this can thing? Okay. Let me just move this shit. So, yeah. I'm gonna get ready for this fucking uh, guy who's trying to buy my fours. I should put it in a different box because I don't really want to use my own box. The big box. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of a box to use because I, I have a bunch of like um, replacement boxes. I guess my super box because I don't really use that box. Surprisingly, actually. Um, yeah. Everything is good. Just uh, hopefully you guys had a good Monday. My Monday was terrible, but I mean, oh well. I'm just gonna make videos, talk about my experiences and shit, cause that's what I do. I talk and shit. I don't, I don't think. I just talk, cause talking makes it much better in my view. Um, but yeah, shout out to my friends, cause they were supporting. They were like conforming me and shit. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna clean my fucking room. Oh my gosh. Damn, look at that dust. I hate it. I don't like a dirty room. I really don't. I'm not a neat freak, but I just like clean shit. I don't like a lot of dirty shit in my room. But, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Uh, sorry, I'm just not in the mood to, to make a video, but... I'm still gonna upload the video. I don't care what people think about me, so whatever. I don't give a fuck. Um, shout out to Jade. I mean, you didn't really want a shout out, bro, but I just I like to give shout outs. I don't. Why, why not? It doesn't hurt. Um, shout out to Tokyo Ocean. Uh, my friend Chelsea. Uh, Deshawn. Lewis. Who else? Oh yeah, uh, Cristiano Sergio. Um. Yeah, that's that's it so far. But yeah, I'm gonna sell my shoes and shit. I'm gonna probably sell trying to sell all my other shit too. It's like the dirt off. There you go. Anyways, oh yeah. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be making more videos as usual. I always update you guys with this shit. So yeah. Um. Oh yeah. If you're wondering why I curse a lot, I always curse. You guys would be surprised how much I curse. But I think it's best to curse. Just the more emphasis in what you have to say. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out. More videos to come. I'll make a video tomorrow. I'll probably just go out to eat food. Um, just chill. Go to the mall. I don't know. Anything I'll do. Anything I want. So yeah. I'll do anything I want. Pretty much. It's my life. Fuck out of here. So yeah. Peace.